What's going on, everybody? Gabriel Bello here, and it is time to review another piece of cloud vocal equipment. We've got the brand new Eversync Wireless IEM. You can't see it there, but you can see it over there. Let's. So we're going to do a whole review on it. You're going to see why I have another pack. I'm actually monitoring this whole recording with the Eversync pack right now. And we have a second one with a USB. Why do we have a USB and a second one? I'm going to tell you. This came out just a few months ago. I was actually one of the first artist endorsers to receive one. Yes, I did get this on the arm, but I do quite a bit of text testing with uh, Cloud Vocal. I was actually talking to my brother Ty. What's up, brother Ty? And we were discussing new Cloud Vocal products, how to improve current Cloud Vocal products, uh, especially the Eversyncs, because there was actually some issues I was having. So let's go right out the gate. What do we have on this thing? Well, we have one input. Ah, 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 and this is actually how I'm currently monitoring. So this is coming out of my headphone out. We're powered right now with a spare nine volt uh, power adapter that I had, but you can power this via USB-C. You can, you can. And it has, what, why do we have a second cable here? Well, because it actually has a second input. So rather than having, I mean, I guess you could treat it like dual mono, but the thing is on most IEM, most wireless monitor, systems like my Phoenix Pro. You guys know I'm a big fan of Phoenix Pro, which is right over here on the desk. You can't see it. It's always out of the out of the shot. But uh, you can see we've got, you know, we've got the packs right here. We've got the packs right here. So my F Phoenix Pro PTM10 is a stereo input. Okay, it's a stereo input. Uh, and the PTM11 is dual mono. Well, this is a two input system. So they function completely independently. And if you can see the meter jumping, I don't know if you can because of the glare. So you've got signal one there. And the reason you see a little bit of signal two is you'll see signal two start to jump because I've got something else plugged in over there. All right. And we're going to we're going to get to that here in a second. So it's got four different. Oh, so first thing, this is on a 5G technology. Everybody's on 2.4. It can cause problems, cause dropouts. I've actually been having issues with my cloud vocal system a microphone system with a band that I, I, I tour with on some of their shows. I think it's on the same, uh, it's in the same lane of traffic as their Wi-Fi distribution for the inner, to control the in-ear mix. And I never have issues anywhere else except with them. But this is 5G, okay? 5.8 gigahertz. 5.8 gigahertz, okay? And it's got four channels. So if you have multiple of these in your band, it's got A, B, C, and D channels. So you got four options, all right? After that, you're kind of on your own. So that way you're not translating to the, you know, you're not, tr uh, not translating. <laughs> you're not sending signal to somebody else's pack on, on your own mix. But one of the cool, one of the things I really like about this system is eight hours. You get eight hours hours out of a single two and a half hour charge. So one two and a half hour charge, eight hours of use. Okay. And let's talk about the pack. So that's about all we got on here. So we can go in there. We can, we can choose if we want to use just input one or, or a combination of two, one and two. I have it on one and two. Cool thing. Also your main input can also function as a through. So saxophonists, guitar players, violinists, whoever are using cloud vocal systems, if you want to use your cloud vocal mic, plug into the input, you can have a more me mix, have your monitor mix plugged in here, send your, your, your instrument out to the house, and you can have complete control. You never have to tell them, oh, I need more of this, more of that. You can just turn up a little bit more of yourself or like I'm probably going to start doing it my DJ gigs. I'm going to plug into my own unit, send it out to them, take a house mix. So I have the, the house music and whatever else is plugged in and I can control them individually because a lot of the small gigs, you know, you don't have two options. You know, you got one. So awesome thing about that. And of course, let's talk about the compact size. Look how look how small this is. OK, let me show you the case. Now, this is something that Cloud Vocal trumps nearly every other company. This is the size of the case. 
I have two of these in my backpack. I have this or my cloud vocal microphone system, and I have another one of their cases that I have a bunch of cables in. So I can get this, I can get my Cloud Vocal EverSync, the, my Cloud Vocal iSolo system, and my other Cloud Vocal bag like this that's full of cables in a backpack with 10 other things. So compact. Phoenix Pro, they use the microphone boxes, and most of the companies, they use the big microphone cases, so it's literally double the size. You can't put that in a backpack. So this, put in the backpack, your hands, your hands are free. Free at last, free at last, okay. So let's talk about the pack. Of course, you've got headphone, you know, you got your headphone out, right? That's how I'm plugged in right now. You've got a power button on the top. Well, actually this is to sync. You've got a sync button up here. An indicator light tells you, I believe it's blue when it's fully charged, green if it's halfway charged, red if it's about to die, and purple, we're gonna get to purple. So it has Ingenious, they are actually working on a, on a 2.0 version that's gonna have its own microphone system, but we don't have that yet. So this is another auxiliary input right here. That's an auxiliary input, so if you wanna plug something else in there, you can. You're, you're the only one that's gonna hear it, obviously. It's not gonna send through to anywhere else. But I think if you plug something into it, you can use it for why the USB. So this is the charge port, okay? You got the, the power button here. This is a volume limiter button. So let's go ahead and turn it on so you can see. All right, this bad boy is fully charged. See the blue light? See the blue light, right? Now, if we hold this down, it's gonna turn green, okay? This is a volume limit setting. This is actually how I was using it for weeks until I asked Ty, I said, man, I can't get any volume out of this thing. He said, um, yeah, you didn't read the directions, did you? I was like, well, I might have looked over them. I might have given them a glance. But yeah, I didn't. I, I was like, oh yeah, there's, in, there's instructions. So, you know, you know how dudes typically do. So this is a volume limiting thing. So if you are getting too much signal, somebody accidentally, you know, gets you, overloads you rather than turning off, you can just cut your volume in half. Okay. Now this, the charge port is an ingenious charge port because it not only functions as charge, it functions as data. As data. What? What say you? It's functions. You can send audio out. So now they have two different packages, right? They have the normal package, which includes your EC5s. EC5. So if you don't have a set of Cloud Vocal EC5s, let me tell you, these are great in ears. We'll talk about that here in a minute. But for $20, 20 more dollars, you can get another pack. And I'm going to tell you why you have to buy the second pack. Why? Why do you need the second pack, Gabe? Well, we know we live in a content-driven society. You need reels, you need YouTube, that helps you get you more gigs, helps show, you know, you share people what you're doing, especially when you're a working musician. You got people wanna know, well, where did you play? What you've been doing? You can plug this bad boy up to your phone or to your iPad and send your mix directly in. So if you're like me, you're a saxophonist or a singer, you're walking around, you can have this bad boy on your phone at your station recording everything and hearing your mix. So now you don't have to have your phone and it sounds like trash, like, oh man, I wish you'd have heard, you know, well, I couldn't really hear your, the effects on your saxophone. Well, yeah, it was in the house and it was in my, my ear sounded amazing. Well, now you can show people. So I'm gonna show you right now. Let's, I'm gonna just plug it into my phone and bam, I don't know if, you, yep, you should be able to see that it turned purple. Here, we're gonna unplug it and you'll see the difference. Purple, blue. Blue, this is hard to do with one hand. Purple, okay? I don't know if you can see that camera. You should be able to tell in this one. Now, there, when you order this, I got a test version, so I did not get my own Cloud Vocal official cable. I tried to use a USB-C directly to Lightning or a USB-C to USB cable. It will not work. Listen, warning, warning. You have to use a USB-C to regular USB cable. 
It will not work. I tried it with several, several cables. I have cables coming out my ears, y'all. It's, it's spaghetti. I, I'm like an Italiano with all the cables over here. I'm in the spaghetti with the cables. That's crazy! So you have to use it with the adapter. So on the iPad, as you can see, I have a docking port. So we can plug it up USB. We're gonna test that and I'm gonna show you how that works. And then of course we have the lightning adapter, which the new iPhones are gonna have the same thing. So great, you're gonna to have to buy another little adapter. Apple, stop with the adapters. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah, hey, that's actually pretty, that's right on. Stop it, stop it. Same tonality and everything. It's like I've seen that movie a thousand times before. Okay, so let's show you uh, let's do the distance test. So I recorded a distance test using my phones. We're gonna snap to that right now. Yeah, All right, so we're about to test the distance of the Cloud Vocal Eversync versus, so we've got the Cloud Vocal Eversync here. On my one hip and on my other hip, we've got the Phoenix Pro Audio, faithful Phoenix Pro Audio, you know. Big fan of both of these companies. We're not pitting them to, against each other. We're just showing you the features. I'm going to start a second camera because this is actually the second test I did and we've got to have both of these bad boys going because when the Eversync loses signal, you can't hear anything. So, camera one, or camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, and we can see, there we go. So, it's gonna be a lot in my hands, but let's do the distance test and of course we're gonna do it so this microphone will drop out, but that's why we got the second camera, so you guys can hear what I'm saying. So let's do the distance test. Now the Eversync is line of sight based. So when it's not, when it's trying to go through walls, it struggles, okay? Whereas my Phoenix Pro Audio, the Phoenix Pro Audio is still holding strong. So I can still hear the music. And when it comes back in on the Eversync, you'll hear I'm right where I need to be. There's something on my heart I've got to share with you. Now, here we go. So it's back on. Coming quite over to. So it can go through one wall. All right, so here's, here's the room where it is. That's where the receiver is, okay? So I wish I could put it up in the window, but there's only so much I can set up for. Once we get a little further away, and you see it's still, it's still going. This is about 25 paces, 25 paces out. Okay, now we're starting to have a little bit of issues. So but you can see that's pretty good considering it's going through the wall and it's supposed to be line of sight, right? So now we're starting to, now we're starting to cut out. It's going through a wall, okay? Cloud vocals back on, back out, back on, back out. Well, once we get closer, it will lock back in. There it is. It's solid. And I mean, I've got this big old tree. I've got a back wall. So that's still impressive because, like I said, it's supposed to be line of sight. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. More than what most musicians would need, especially if you're doing, if you're not playing a stadium, you're gonna be fine. And obviously if you're playing a stadium, you're not bringing your own in your system anyway, right? Okay, let's go back to the studio and give our final thoughts or our next thoughts. Let's do it. Pretty cool distance test, right? Now I'm gonna import some video right now. I'm gonna show you where I use this at a show with uh, The Stranger, Tribute to Billy Joel featuring Mike Santoro, one of the best. And let me tell you, if you like Billy Joel, you gotta, you know, you gotta, I'll hold up. I'm gonna do like that, uh, like that Jordan guy. Come here, come here, uh, a little closer. Whoop, we're off center. Wee, wee. There we go. Okay. If you like Billy Joel, you gotta check out The Stranger featuring Mike Santoro best Billy Joel tribute on planet Earth. You'll see in that video, the distance I was, it was a good 40, somewhere between 40 and 50 feet, might've even been 60 feet, but it was a good distance. The, the unit was on top of, it was on top of the monitor rig, the in-ear monitor rig that they use, which is identical to mine, pretty much, this is a Behringer X32 system. And it was on the opposite side of the stage. So it was um, upstage left, 
and I was downstage right. So I was in the front right corner of the stage and it was in the back left corner of the stage. So diagonally apart. had no issues. Actually, I had more issues with my microphone dropping than the ears. The ears never dropped out. I mean, this is just ingenious. So you can have your instrument plugged into your Eversync, right? So you can, you can plug into, I'm going to talk to you over here. We're going to, you can plug your instrument over here, get your mix over here, plug it into your phone, get your clips. You don't have to do anything to it. You just go right to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever it is. Tumbling, snappity, chatting on the book of, on the meta book X, and just sh put it out there for everybody to, and it's gonna sound pristine. The quality on this is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. So, let's show you what we're talking about. So we're gonna switch over to the camera. So I'm talking to you right here, and poof, the brain. Oh man, that doesn't look as good, right? So let's show you what I'm talking about by playing. So this is from the iPad, right? That's playing from the iPad. And we're gonna start it on the computer. That's the two, so you hear me talking from that input. Yeah, right, that sounds, sounds wonderful, doesn't it? So those are your two different inputs. Okay, let's try over to the iPad now. Stop recording. Beep, boop, boop. All right, now it's disengaged there. Let's open up the iPad. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. And it's purple. And let's get the camera over here. The back camera on this one is great and the front camera, not so much, but so. Here you go, should be able to hear me talking. Let's pick up the song. Audio from Source One, and you still hear me talking. So the audio, the music is coming from Source Two. I'm talking on Source One. And you hear that little bit of crunch. That's something where I'm still trying to figure out what, what that is. I think it's in this in the second input because I was having some issues with that the other night. And of course, there's the music coming from. So you do have, let's uh, stop that. You do have uh, one to 10 volume audio selection on, on the Eversync. So you can go and see your settings. You can click, you can, there's an audio button here, radio button. Radio has to do with the syncing. Audio obviously has to do with audio. You go in there and you get to your audio settings. So you can adjust the input. Like I said, it's one to 10. I have this, you can see, so audio input one is at nine, audio input two is at seven. I think the audio, the second audio input, the eighth inch is really hot. Um, I could flip flop this over here, but I don't wanna mess up anything. Well, you know what, let's do it, let's try it. So, cause we're using all this stuff, you guys can hear me no matter what. Okay, it's pretty identical, this is, it's a little lower. So I think the quarter inch inputs are the same and the eighth inch input is, just, is a little hot, but like I said, it's, but let's do something fun. So I'm gonna grab a saxophone real quick. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna plug this back into my phone and I'm gonna play a little bit of that song, my song, this song right here, and you're gonna hear what it sounds like, okay? So let's plug it back up, plug it back up to the phone. USB to lightning, lightning into the phone. We've got a purple light. Let's grab a neck strap. I have no idea what that sounded like because I'm not connected. 
So <laughs> and that's still going into the phone. So let's stop that. Okay. So in review, 400 bucks. You know, it's a little more than Phoenix Pro, but this might suit your needs better, right? It's still less than Shure. Shure, Sennheiser, Sennheiser's a thousand dollars. And all you get, you get one pack, or might you might get two packs with a thousand dollars. Maybe it's twelve hundred. Anyway, Sennheiser's anywhere from thousand bucks and up. Last time I checked, which was a long time ago, because I've been using Phoenix Pro Audio, and now I'm using the Cloud Vocal. Because when I'm doing the small, when I'm doing some of the, my smaller stuff, and like I said, I, I did take this on a big gig, but when I want to record myself, I take this. I take this because I can just plug it right up into my phone. I plug it right up into my phone and I'm good to go. Clips, great sounding audio, helps represent the brand. Everybody gets a great sound. And of course, you know, oh, the video looks good, but if it sounds like garbage, people don't go back and watch. But if it sounds great and it looks great, which, you know, we know the iPhones have great cameras, it's a win, 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 win. So 400 bucks. But when you use my discount code, it gets you a little bit more. And there's going to be other discount codes that will be in there because I think they're running some specials right now. You may not, the special may not be running when you see this video, but you can always use my discount code. It's just cloudvocal.com backslash Gabriel Bello or it's Gabriel Sachs. And I also have, so that's my, use my referral link, which gets you a discount. Then use my discount code, which gives you an additional discount, right? So you're not going to spend 400 bucks to get this if you get it from me. So obviously you're watching this because you're on the fence. You want to say, hey, is it worth it? Let me tell you, it's worth it. It's worth it. I dig it. I dig it. If I didn't dig it, I'd tell you, man, it's really good, but they need to work on it a little bit. We're still, it's the first version. There's some stuff we're fixing, you know, but if you're not going to have this in a wall, like, you know, so if you're using this at church, for instance, and, you know, I know a drummer's keyboard, especially, they like to have the cameras and record their setup. This is perfect. You just plug it up to the pack and you're good. And you're good. I think even you could use one pack and I can plug into the top of this and it'll still record. So let's check. It's still purple. It's still purple. So yeah, if you wanted to, if you just need one, like you're a drummer, you're a keyboardist, you can plug it up right there and you're solid. You can run your audio right to it and you're not on a leash. But if you're like me and you're wireless and you're going to wander around or you're going to be a little further away from your instrument, you're a guitar player, wireless, put, you know, put this on, you know, or you guitar player and you're going to be walking out front on a 20 foot line, put your camera on your stand, plug this up to it, and you're going to have pristine sound, pristine. It's going to be wonderful. So I highly recommend to spend the extra 20 bucks and get a backup pack. Because if you go to the bathroom and it ends up in the toilet, guess what? You, you're, you're still good. You can still use the other pack on the gig. You're not, oh man, I don't have ears anymore. Spend the extra 20 bucks, get this one, get the in-ears included. Actually, hold up. So if you spend 420, if you've got a good set of in-ears and you don't need them, definitely get the one with two packs. If you don't have a good set of in-ears, okay? If you do not have a decent set of in-ear monitors and you wanna get both packs, just add them on there. They're hundred. These are hundred bucks. Once again, the discount code. It's going to bring them down a little bit. They're hundred and ten bucks. The discount code will help bring bring them down. Okay. I think that's all I got for you. Cloud Vocal. Thank you so much for making amazing tools for musicians like myself, like most of us out here that are out here gigging, making a living, making music, making the world a better place. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Do all the things. Be back here for all the things and all the stuff from the Bibbidi Blah. True and international depression. Cool. Jesus loves you. So do I. Take care. <laughs>